Today we're going to discuss proper installation of the ToeDaddy 802 universal wiring harness. But before we start this, I think it's important to take a step backwards to see what it replaces. Here is a conventional diode installation. I spent over 45 minutes making this appear neat and tidy. It required 11 crimped connections and it required two jumper wires being routed over to the opposite side tail light. Complement this with the ToeDaddy universal wiring harness. In this case, we have only six connections and it's a much cleaner install and it involves no jumper wires going over to the other tail light assembly. Sorry. It is very simple to connect the ToeDaddy universal wiring harness to this Jeep Liberty wiring harness. One first identifies from the Jeep's wiring harness the wire going to the turn signal, the brake, and the tail light and cuts those three wires. You will notice that on the wiring harness there are six wires. Three of them are striped a striped green, a striped brown, and a striped red, and three of them are solid. Solid green, solid red, and solid brown. The striped wires always go to the tail light side. The solid wires always go to the opposite side. The striped green wire will then go to the right turn light wire. The striped red wire will go to the right side brake light wire and the striped brown wire will go to the right side tail light wire. The solid red wire will be connected to the car's brake wire coming from the battery side. The solid brown wire will be connected to the tail light coming from the battery side, and the solid green wire will be connected to the right turn light coming from the battery side. Proper connections are made, and one repeats the procedure on the other side, except that you will note there are yellow wires on that harness rather than the green ones, and the yellow go to the left turn lights. We're going to now demonstrate how to attach the 802 universal wiring harness to a vehicle that has a combined brake turn. But to do that, I think it's important to review the installation we just performed with the vehicle that had the separate brake and turn. When a car has a separate brake and turn, the yellow amber light functions as a turn signal, whereas the red light functions as the brake light. For the vehicle we're going to work on now, you can see the brake and the turn light are both served by one bulb. Okay, so we've identified the Cheap Liberty's wiring harness, and we can tell that there's a yellow wire in here which corresponds to the left brake turn lead, and the brown wire corresponds to the tail light wire. So what we do initially is we cut both the turn brake, represented by the yellow wire here, and the tail wire, represented by the brown one. In looking at our wiring harness, it's the same protocol as we did on the separate brake and turn. The striped wires always connect to the tail light side. The solid wires always connect to the battery side. So what we do is we take the brake wire with the stripe in it and connect it to this yellow wire which goes to the combined brake turn light on this left side. We then connect the brown striped wire to the tail light wire on the tail light side. We then take the solid red wire or brake wire from the harness and connect it to the
combined brake turn light coming from the battery side of the car. And we take the solid brown wire and we connect that to the tail light wire coming from the battery side. What we haven't done here is we have not utilized the yellow solid or the yellow striped wires so that when one is using the universal wiring kit for a combined break and turn, the red, the red wire functions as the combined break turn wire and one does not use the yellow wires. The yellow wires are only used with a separate break and turn and same thing with the green wires are only used with a separate break and turn albeit on the right side for the green and the left side for the yellow. So we recommend just taking some electrical tape and uh, firmly taping over the end of this wire. So as you can see, we finished up our installation here. We've got the solid red brake turn line going to the brake turn wire coming from the battery side. We have the solid tail light wire being connected uh, to the tail wire coming from the battery. We have the striped brake turn wire going to the tail light side brake turn wire. And we have the striped tail wire, excuse me, tail light wire going to the tail light wire on the left side.